So what did Steve Wilkes do differently than what he was doing the first half of the year? I'll have to go back and watch the film, but from my untrained eye watching on television, it seemed pretty clear that he finally started calling more press coverage. He got rid of that nine-yard cushion he was giving wide receivers and said, look, I'm going to live with my good, not great corners. I don't even know if they call them good. I'm going to live with my decent corners playing press man coverage and committing some penalties. I'm going to live with it. I know Traverius Ward's getting flagged twice, and he did. I know Ambry Thomas is going to have some bad plays in press man coverage. And he did. Going to give up some big plays. You did. But the trade-off, five sacks. I'll take it. Five sacks, three penalties. I'll take it. Because the, the uh, trade-off, the other way you could do it is play soft zone coverage, give up a 75% completion percentage, and have one sack. And say, hey, we didn't give up any, any big throws. Nah, screw that. That's not winning football. That's not how you play with this much talent on your team. He finally understood, I got to let my defensive line be the reason I win. And I, I'm taking them out of the game by playing such soft coverage. So he played aggressive coverage. He lived with the penalties. They're going to come. Tavarius Ward just grabs and holds. He's a very cuddly cornerback. Tactile. He likes to cover with his arms on his feet, which is a no-no. You're going to have to live with that. But five sacks. Bosa played well. Chase Young played well. Eric Armstead was terrific. Javon Hargrave was terrific. Cleland Farrell had a freaking sack. I'll take it. If you spend that much money on your defensive line, you got to let it decide the game. You can't short-circuit your own strength. And that's what the Niners had been doing. That's what Steve Wilkes had been doing. Good to see him fix that. One of his big adjustments was getting Isaiah Oliver off the field. And I think he kind of got lucky that the Jaguars weren't more aggressive going after Ambry Thomas. I feel like that happens a lot. Niners face a team from the AFC South. Like, they don't know each other very well. The Jaguars game plan wasn't particularly opponent specific. It was like, man, uh, our offensive line can't block anyone. Let's call a million screens. Cool. Well, they so they couldn't really attack Ambry Thomas. Another, I mean, smart from Steve Wilkes. Like, this team has no offensive line. They're going to call a bunch of screens. I'm going to play press man coverage, and I'm not really going to worry about Ambry Thomas getting beat deep because they can't block long enough to make those throws. True. Be curious to see if they stick with this, with Ambry on the outside and Lenore in the slot. Or if they bring in someone like Darrell Luter Jr., Samuel Womack to play outside. They could do that too. But I think that's the end of Isaiah Oliver. Probably never should have been the beginning of Isaiah Oliver. That was a bad call. Signing him, playing him, not benching him sooner. But he's gone. Got to give Steve Wilkes credit. D'Amico Ryan didn't have such a, a strong start to his career as a defensive coordinator a couple of years ago. And he improved quickly. Got another text particularly look at the teams that the Jaguars have beat this season. All of them have been absolute bad teams. Falcons, Colts, and Saints are all bad teams. They aren't contenders. The Jaguars did beat Bills, but sucked too this season. Anyways, it wasn't a statement by the Niners for this win. Beating up a bad team is not impressive. Niners lost three straight in a row against great teams. Funny how you want to move on from that so quick or choose to forget it. I don't know who this is. Don't worry, though. The Niners will always choke in the biggest moments. Y'all going to get spanked again. Niners haven't won a Super Bowl since World War II, even with all the star big money players. Dude, who are you? Who are you? I don't root for the 49ers. Who are you? Okay, sorry. That's really weird, getting random texts from someone. Um, <laughs> basic hot dog, no bun, says, I still would like to see Kyle's offense come back in the fourth quarter when things are tight in the lead. They're good, but trailing is different. Yeah, we didn't get to see that today. We'll see it eventually. Steven Pryor says, thanks for the genuine answer. I try. I try. Euro two times. So glad we won, but I'm not going to cap like Brock Purdy didn't make me nervous. I only feel comfortable when we're up at least two or three scores minimum now. Year after year choke. Here's an idea. Start to watch other football teams in the league to find out who's the best football team is not the Niners. Don't focus on the Niners so much. Just make you look like a bandwagon. Who are you? I'm freaked out. I'm changing my phone number. Jared says Grant gets random texts from random people about football. Meanwhile, the rest of us gets texts about expiring car warranty and all our computers have viruses. Some people's kids, LOL. I like my mom used to say some people's kids. 
uh, Beatman Pete Pete Boy says, "Yo, Grant, love the show. Shout out your dad. Can I get a Fernando from the people in South Carolina? Fernando, you feel that? Did you feel that in, in uh, South Carolina? Shady Luke says, Pro Football Focus has the Niners O line is the thirtieth ranked in pass blocking. Does that concern you going forward? Well, yeah, because because anytime they fall behind, that's going to be an issue. That wasn't an issue today. They were winning the whole time." 